Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today's devotion is taken from The Desire of Ages by Ellen G. White, chapter 65, page 592. After a season, the priests and rulers ventured back to the temple. When the panic had abated, they were seized with anxiety to know what would be the next movement of Jesus. They expected him to take the throne of David. Quietly returning to the temple, they heard the voices of men, women, and children praising God. Upon entering, they stood transfixed before the wonderful sin. They saw the sick healed, the blind restored to sight, and deaf received their hearing, and the crippled leap for joy. The children were foremost in the rejoicing. Jesus had healed their maladies. He had clasped them in his arms, received their kisses of grateful affection and some of them had fallen asleep upon his breast as he was teaching the people. Now with glad voices, the children sounded his praise. They repeated the hosannas of the day before and waved palm branches triumphantly before the Saviour. The temple echoed and re-echoed with their acclamations. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Behold, thy King cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation. Psalm 118 verse 26 and Zechariah chapter 9 verse 9. Hosanna to the Son of David. How much time do you spend in praising God? for all that He has done for you? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the many wonderful things you have done in my life. Thank you for all your blessings, providences, and protection in my life. And I ask that you would forgive me because many times I do not take time to realize my blessings and I do not give you praise. Help me each day to realize your goodness in my life. And may I learn to praise you each and every day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May you have a splendid day ahead of you. Goodbye.